I'm so grateful to be chosen as one of the five finalists. I want to introduce you to Arceos, a scalable system that I built. We have integrated OpenAI into the application to bring in intelligence into the system. There are a lot of different types of earthworks and they each have their own characteristics. We decided to use deep learning to train classifiers on LiDAR data and satellite images to classify each segment of the Amazon rainforest. We divided the region tile by tile for 3 by 3 kilometers and for each centroid of these tiles we ran the model again and again and we extracted all the parameters for this prediction and detection models. We made some configuration changes over the customizable workflow and you can see the noise has been reduced and some of the features have been clearly visible. There are around 100 plus potential sites that we have found. We created an interactive website and when the user click on a spot, they can dive into the details. We went to GPT, GPT-based research is done and we told GPT to act as an archaeologist with years of experience and give a final report. The deep learning approach is scalable enough to scan the whole Amazon rainforest in a reasonable duration of time. This approach can really work and then can actually help the archaeologists to do the discovery more efficiently. The energy and enthusiasm of the participants has been extraordinary. Everyone who's made the finals has something really interesting and unique. Just thinking about all the big water projects, and that could be like super groundbreaking. This is so new and so different, and it could be something really powerful. Hi, Philip. Hello. Hi. Congratulations, Team Black Bean, and welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like you've inspired many different folks around the world, and we're just very, very excited to share you guys as winners and the work that you've done to the world. You'll pretty take a minute to introduce each other um, and tell us why you named the team Black Bean. And I'm Yao, and I'm currently, I have a year working experience as a software engineer, and I'm currently working in Manta. Um, my name is Injia, and I'm currently a software engineer in Amazon. I'm Yuzhia, and now I just graduated from Nanyang Technology University. And for the uh, team named Black Bean, Black Bean is the family dog uh, who passed away a few months ago at 16 years old. So we decided to use this name to remember him. Well, Black Bean is going to be shown to the world. So that's not going him proud. Uh, yeah. course, how did you come across this challenge? Yeah, actually, I found it first. So last year, I took a gap year. Uh, I quit my I, I quit my current job and uh, starting learning uh, machine learning and the basic some basics and also some like deep learning techniques. Um, and uh, and you know, Cargo is really famous uh, for like holding the data scientist competition. So in the in May this year, when I like uh, casually browse the the Cargo, I found this competition. I found this super exciting. Um, so, in, uh, and I, I actually have, have, have the interest to join. And then I contacted Yun Xuan, uh, who happened to have the availability. So we formed the team and uh, started the journey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all told me on my summer vacation. So I have time, enough time to do it. I'm also uh, I'm chart in some Asian civilization. So I'm really excited to, to take part in. Talk us through some of your findings and how you leveraged OpenAI's models to approach a challenge. Uh, we actually found that deep learning is a really good approach to help archaeologists to, to discover an archaeological site, especially on Amazon area. So um, that's why I, we, we, we decided to uh, go for this approach. And, uh, and in the end, we finally like gather all the data and uh, do all the training and post processing. And, uh, and we finally drill down to some like a small number of results. This would, this approach can really work and then can actually help the archaeologist to, to do the discovery more efficiently. For the open model, I think, uh, it's not just a, a question ask and uh, answer chat boat. Mm, I think it's more like a collaborator. For many times, I ask him to uh, what to do next. Uh, he, he can memorize the whole dialogue over months, even over a year. So he, he knows the whole structure of our project. Uh, for, for each point, he will give me some uh, 
several ways for me to choose. We discuss about the, the stress, the weakness, and the final choose the, uh, the, the solution. I, I think I even discuss with ChatGPT more times than my teammate. So <laughs> yeah, I think it's a quite great collaborator. Yeah. That's incredible to hear. And out of curiosity, what was your biggest wow moment during this challenge? Yeah, the big, biggest wow mo moment definitely is like when we get the result from, uh, from our model and after like all the po post processing stuff, we, we find something, we find like a list of like, uh, potential undiscovered sites. And like when we do the manual analysis, we found them, uh, actually really has some potential, like based on our shadow archaeological knowledge and also some common senses. So that's a moment that we feel like actually it can really work. It can really extract characteristic of the training material and then to apply it in the model. And then it can really do the classification like on the segments of the Amazon rainforest. So we, we really found that our approach can really work, can really help archaeologists. And what would be your advice for how other people can use LLMs for research and discovery? ChatGPT, it's a good teacher. Uh, you know, we have, firstly, we have no, no, no knowledge about the archaeologic, uh, archaeologists in Amazon Basin. Uh, it teaches us in only one week and we become some part of the archaeologists, I think, maybe. Uh, and then it's a collaborator, as I said. Uh, it's maybe not the best, uh, that's the model we use, you know, ChatGPT is not good at extract the features. It's only can understanding some picture and give me some dialogue. So we make it as a picture description, I think, but not the uh, C CN model, you know? Yeah, yeah I want to. Nah. Yeah. Oh, I want to say more about that. I think the, that's, I think that the one, one like, uh, ChatGPT is really good at is like to do a summarization. So, uh, in the realization part, we actually like summarize each like potential spots, like, uh, to go like a very long text. I think that's a very good way to help archaeologists to under like why this, uh, spot is chosen, chosen by our model. And also, so we think that uh, ChatGPT is uh, is a, is a really good summarization tool and that can really can provide a very good way to show the work. Maybe show some work with pretty uh, deep domain knowledge, like to to, to the to, to the broader audience. So I think that this is really incredible. Um, well, before we wrap up, we actually want to say a special thank you to the incredible support from the broad archaeological community, um, as well as our friends Sarah Parkak and Chris Fisher who you all had met through the judging panel. Uh, we'd love to hear about your plans on how you continue this work and how you intend to collaborate with other finalists and participants to continue pursuing this effort. I think we can help them to public, uh, to, to make, make our work public. And so we can get feedback from them and also at the same time inspire them to do more. But I think there are still rooms of improvement for our approach. So we probably need to like spend some time to really to in improve our approach. And then maybe we, we can, we can share this work with like the broader community and this work might, might be utilized to, uh, even different kinds of archaeological research or even inspire like in other fields. Before we let you guys go, is there anything else you want to share with the world or with Blackbean? Yeah, um, I actually want to, uh, say thank you to OpenAI, uh, to organizer Philip and, uh, and also to all the, all the judges in the panel. Uh, I, I, we really appreciate that, uh, you provide this opportunity, uh, for us to uh, do this very exciting and interesting project. And we really want to, uh, continue this, uh, this work and, uh, to hopefully can benefit, uh, the research on uh, the on archaeological site discovery research on Amazon rainforest that uh, even like a broader scope. Well, thank you, Tim. And, uh, and massive, massive congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.